as the Arab Spring uprisings took hold across the Middle East and North Africa in 2010, millions of people fled their homes to find new lives in the years that followed. Researchers claim to have identified evidence of a causal link between those conflicts and changes to the climate across the region and the ensuing migration flows. The report authors say the roots of the Syrian conflict can be found in preceding droughts and water shortages. People started not being able to produce agriculture production and that's kind of, that was the start of uh, migration from the rural area to urban area, which was already quite crowded. And this, the resources in the urban area was also scarce. So when there was a kind of tension of fighting for limited resource and on top is the ethnic polarization in Syria. So it's sort of of all that combination. The researchers use data on asylum applications and conflict-related deaths. They combine this into a mathematical model with data on drought and rainfall, plus other variables such as population size and measures of democracy and ethnic diversity. So let's look how climate increases the probability of conflict. And once we estimate that, we use the number that we got from that to estimate the next step. So the country that experienced conf uh, conflict from climate um, variation, are they likely to send out the, um, migrate, uh, the refugee flows or not? The researchers emphasize that climate change will not cause conflict and subsequent asylum-seeking flows in every instance. The effect of climate on migration through conflict is quite specific to certain time period and to certain countries. So climate-induced conflict, it's a bit more likely in the country with the medium level of democracy. The results of this study are specific to the Western Asia region and the time period in question. But it's hoped the research will contribute to the global debate on how migration flows will be affected by increasingly severe climate change. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.